How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4, again, at Starlight Drive-In. This time I'm going to be doing the third floor, which I intend to make a cafeteria or bar or restaurant of some kind up here. I'll probably have, uh, I'm thinking, with what I end up doing, I think that I'm actually just going to have, like, two bars, uh, one on each side. And I'm just going to treat it like a cafeteria. Uh, I had someone comment. My intentions were to have a bar or a restaurant or something up here. But someone commented and uh, said that this is a lot like a mall. It's pretty much a mall. And that's kind of what my intentions were to begin with. Was that It was supposed to be a mall, but I didn't want to call it a mall, I guess. I was just going to call it a marketplace. And uh, I think that it actually turns out a lot more like a mall than I thought and then like when I looked at this part later uh, after I built it and I was looking at it and I'd seen that comment I was thinking to myself like yeah I could easily turn this into like a food court type of thing uh, with multiple restaurants and stuff and that's what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna have like one on each side and uh, it's gonna be kinda like a cafeteria and yeah, so this is a really simple build. It's really just filling in the gap because uh, in my other uh, original build, you'll notice that I really had just the open space on the roof. And so I wanted to do something similar. I do add like the food area is covered, not where people eat, but where the food is made or served or whatever. Uh, that is covered up, but the like eating area is not uh and there's not quite like a distinct place for the eating area yet because i haven't made uh, i haven't decorated this part but this is actually going to be the decorations i've stated before are all going to be in their own videos uh, i think it'll give me a chance to really explain to you guys how my thought process goes i'll show you guys how i use ocd decorator uh, or oc decorator sorry and a couple of the other mods in my decorations to kind of make them look a little bit more lively, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. I'm really pleased with how this actually turns out. Uh, right here, I'm trying to figure out how to put the roofs onto the build, and so I went ahead and decided to just use the prefabs, and I it's really because I wanted the post, uh from the prefabs in there, but it kind of made it harder to place this shack wall, this half shack wall in. And then I actually changed a couple things in this build. Uh, you'll notice that I start doing a couple different things. But, like, I really wanted to close off this back area of this uh, roof as much as I could where the food is going to be and stuff. So I had an idea to actually make it uh, a little bit more closed off. Right here I'm just building a counter. So I really like to do junk furniture. Uh, just made from things that I find in the game. Just like scrap and a lot of the plywood pieces and stuff like that. And so this piece is actually just going to be uh, concrete or well cinder blocks. And uh, I was trying to figure out how to actually do this, because how to actually do this because with the with the scrap mod, the scrap that settlement mod, you actually can't place uh, can't pick up plywood after you've already placed it. And so this is me actually attempting to put it down. Uh, and then, I guess it's sort of like the red glitch, because it's on the center block. But, try to actually put it over on top of the, what are those called? Those uh, containers. The wooden crates. And, so, this was probably the, the worst part of this whole build. For me, it was probably the most pain, but it's really not that big of a pain at all. And I think that it actually looks good. Um, trying to see if I can see underneath it. 
And to just avoid seeing underneath it, I'm going to just go ahead and cover up the front. And I was trying to avoid uh, using the same textures because I've already used some of the half walls and stuff like that. And so I decided to, I guess I... I thought that I decided to not use that because the texture is right there. Yeah, so I changed that one. Yeah, I knew that I changed one. And since it's kind of a different area now because this is kind of blocked off and you can't really see those back walls, I just repeated some of the same textures. And uh, just because it's harder to tell. And on this side, I really don't know what I was really going for at first but I don't do any of this stuff so I guess we'll just ignore this but uh, let's talk about something so something else really quick uh, we'll talk about how well the channel is actually doing right now uh, the channel is almost to 150 subs and that's it's crazy we're getting really close or we already hit it depending on how good like the next I don't know next like little while goes I don't know it just depends on whenever I upload this video this video will be up on Friday yeah so I had to pre-record pre these videos I, I record on Saturday and Sunday I don't know what I'm doing right there I think I was just looking to see if I could make anything interesting but I don't know why because it looks so stupid oh man I wish that I would not I don't know I was trying to make like a different looking I guess bar area but I end up going with just one of the basic stores if you go in USO they added a bunch of just dummy stores so you can add like any like level store with with a rug so I went with one of the lower level ones just because it, I like the way it looks. It's not so big and bulky. And then I used the half wall, not this one. Yeah, this one. I used this half wall. And I found out that this clips. This was super weird to me. So it kept clipping, and I don't, or not clipping, but snapping. And I've never seen that. And so I don't know what it was snapping to. Don't know why it was snapping. But... It's the first time I've ever seen the half shack walls actually snap to anything. But, yeah. So this is the part that I was talking about. I wanted it to be a little bit more closed off. And wasn't sure how to do it. So, I tried to use uh, Place Anywhere, couldn't get it to work, and then got it. And so, I used Place Anywhere to actually just place these above on the uh, upper half of this so that the, it looks kind of like a window I guess and then I just try to get it pretty even between the two pillars on the right and the left and not so much clipping out on either side just make it a little bit more even and so I go ahead and repeat that I don't know if I use the same texture every time no I don't okay good but that actually works a lot better, what I just did, where I put it on top. If you can get it to clip on top, or snap on top, that works a lot better than actually trying to place it just next to it. Whenever you use Place Anywhere, I don't use Place Anywhere very often anymore. Uh, you guys will notice that. You probably already have, just because it, it started crashing my game all the time. And so every single time I use it, I try to use it very few times I try to use it as little as possible this was the same texture again and so I was trying to get it to snap on top it wouldn't work but it ended up working right next to it so it's no big deal right here is me just trying to get the walls to line up pretty even and almost done and then the full full tour will come pretty short video like I said, this wasn't like that difficult of a build anyway. 
and here it is as you can see the sun is in the way <laughs> but it's not that crazy of a structure on top it's really just i think it's going to come to life with the decoration and whenever i start to put furniture and stuff up there uh i'll probably do kind of like a food court kind of thing i thought about it first like a like a legit cafeteria but i'll probably do more like a food court i guess since it's supposed to be like a mall just a bunch of tables with a few chairs each or whatever but really simple build uh, really simple structure. I like doing these half walls. I think that's probably the most interesting part is the half walls on top to kind of make it look like a little bit more of a window instead of a balcony. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, and uh, if you guys want to share this, you should do that. Like I said, we're probably getting close to 150 subs. I know that we are right now. So I don't know how the channel is going to go over the next like couple days but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one